I'm now going to show you how to extract a DTM from a point cloud. We have an empty LSS survey on the left and a point cloud loaded in 3D Vision on the right. I select the command 3D Vision Terrain Extraction and I can select the grid interval that I want to extract the terrain across. I can choose a pivot and a rotation for that grid and do I want to find the lowest, the highest or the mean point within each of those grid cells. If I select the lowest I can choose whether to insert into the LSS survey the absolute position of that lowest point similarly with highest but if we choose mean then it will place the mean level in the center of the chosen grid. We can put the results into the current survey or into a new or existing survey. It draws a box around the entire point cloud and the reporting window will show us how it's processing that task. Once it's completed that task it will then send those points to the LSS application. Bear in mind that a single LSS survey can only contain 4,080,000 points. But if you choose to extract a terrain and the point count exceeds 4,080,000 but is 10 million or less, you can get it to create a load file, that is, into a new survey. And then before you load it, you go through the input load thin command to thin it from between 4 and 10 million down to less than 4 million. It's now loading all of the points. It's now creating the terrain model. And it's now displaying that DTM and in this case the contours. If we draw a section through a part of this survey, we'll see the slice view in 3D vision and you'll see that this lake, this pond, contains points that aren't actually at the correct level. You see the surface of the water is undulating. Well, what we might want to do now is digitize around that feature. You can see it's definitely not flat we can digitize around that feature and we can then exclude it from the digital terrain model by adding a surface feature to it and then making it void. But let me just show you how we can select a different area within which we might want a finer DTM. And to do that let me just show you what we've currently got. If we over display the current LSS DTM We can see the DTM that it's produced and even at a one meter interval it's quite a fine interval but if we look at that in slice we will see that this yellow line represents the DTM that we've created. You'll see it follows the lowest point. If you want a more representative DTM model then we can digitize around a particular area, fill it in with a surface feature and then extract the terrain at a finer interval. So let's go and do that. Using profile I'm now going to digitize around the base and because I'm using profile I don't need to worry about the interval between the points because it's going to drape this line across the existing DTM and I will now add a surface feature to that stockpile area I've just defined with that line. Now I can 
extract a terrain this time limit by that surface feature and I can put a much finer interval in this time it always appears to extract an entire rectangle but what will happen is although the points have been sent to LSS as a rectangle LSS will decide the limits of the surface feature and will ignore all of the points that lie outside of that And if we zoom in to the interface between the newly extracted terrain inside the surface and the previously extracted terrain, you'll see that there is a much higher density of points inside than there is outside. Another method we could choose is to define a filter box. This filter box will allow us to select the extents of the box the width and the height so we've defined the box we can make the box aligned either centrally above and below the digitized points or we can make it aligned to the baseline of those points so that's the one I want so we can see that stockpile now sits entirely within that filter box Having applied that filter box, we will now be able to extract the terrain for just that area. You see how much quicker it is to extract the points if we're restricting the area that we're interested in. And if we over display the survey, we will see that the DTM inside of this filter box is much finer than it is outside. 